Deepak Chopra here. We are on the second day of Sages and Scientists. This morning session was amazing. We had lots of interesting discussions on neuroscience, interpersonal neurobi neurobiology. <coughs> lots of discussions this morning on interpersonal neurobiology. But amongst our speakers was Dr. M Bill Mobley, and he's the um, uh, you're the chair of neuroscience at uh, UCSD Medical School, and he spoke about the uh, neuroscience of compassion. So what do you hope, uh, Bill, uh, the audience got from your talk, and what, you know, we have several hundred thousand, if not millions of people going to be watching this. What is the basic message you want to convey with your research? Well, one first message is I want to thank you, oh, thank you. for your wisdom which is enormous and very important. Um, I think the main message here is that these very important mental states are approachable experimentally. One can do studies to define the circuit biology of empathy and compassion. By doing that, one can understand the brain mechanisms involved and by understanding those mechanisms, one is in a position to use the brain to teach the brain with the idea, as we talked about in the conference, I might be able, we might, not me, we might be able to accelerate by a thousandfold the learning that's necessary to become more empathic and more capable of compassion. That's an exciting possibility. It's not beyond the realm. In the next... 10 or 20 years, but it's neuroscience that will have to do that. We can't do it just with goodwill or because we're nice people. We can individually benefit from lots of practices, but to make the benefits of brain biology available in terms of empathy and compassion for the populace at large, we need to study the brain. So, so far, what have you found as correlates of this experience that we call empathy, compassion. You had some very interesting slides in your talk. Very cool, very interesting. So the, the regions in the brain that are engaged, when I feel tension, when I feel visceral discomfort, or perhaps pleasure in myself, and by that I mean the anterior insula, which is extremely important for awareness of those feelings, and the anterior cingulate cortex to which the anterior insula, connect, with which it connects, those two regions seem to be absolutely essential for understanding pain in myself and empathy for pain in others. It's a, it's a benchmark. It's, a, it's, like a, it's like a first early landmark, a first stone in the path to understanding the physiologic, the brain basis of empathy and compassion. It's very exciting. It's not my work. It's worked by other people, Singer, Dessetti, Zaki, Lamb, other people. I'm a poor, humble cell biologist, but I appreciate very much the wonderful work others have done. But as you know, we are now exploring the effects of contemplative practices, body awareness, awareness of feelings, emotions, uh, awareness of our connection with others. We're already doing these practices. And uh, we have recently been able to show that they affect gene expression, networks of genes, neural networks are tied to that. So uh, there's a time now yes. that we can integrate all these findings. And your work is very valuable. And I think I'm looking forward to actually uh, connecting with you more on how we can collaborate on all these studies. I look forward to it. It'd be wonderful. And so check Dr. Mobley's work out, uh, and you will find it here on this humogram. We'll link to UC TV as well, where he has a regular show, and uh, more to come. Thanks, Bill. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.